what's going on. Look at all this pink. Pink freaking plasma going on. There's a freaking moon. Was that a bat? <laughs> Frickers. Frickers shooting out some freaking laser beams at us. <laughs> That's funny. Look at this. Yeah, I, I am not surprised at all that bats live in this place. Oh, goodbye, Mr. Bat. <laughs> no more bat. <laughs> yeah. You can see all these little lines over there. <laughs> Looks like someone was had a freaking bat in the belfry, like this thing right here. <laughs> it looks like like they used to burn the bodies of Indians in that or something. Wouldn't surprise me. Today I've been looking up like historical documentaries on like Michigan and like LA. Just kinda I mean even the dude said is it? This place is great. Unless it's the fallen angels that it's built after. And that's funny as well. Uh, today, I'm looking at Enoch and I'm trying to find the spot where it said that these angels are imprisoned. Basically, it says in a big icy, like a mountain buried in ice. It sounds a lot like what they describe, uh, what was it? Uh, at the South Pole or the North Pole. One of them, I think it's just, uh, But not too long ago, freaking, um, like a big giant hole, like, busted through the ice over there in Antarctic. And, uh, it reminded me of, like, you know, like, uh, Revelations 9-11. The uh, bottomless pit opened up. Bad on the destroyers released. The locusts coming out of the pit. These type of things. You know what I mean? Because in Enoch, it does give a reference to a good place of a lot of ice, buried mountains. That that's a place of the imprisonment of uh, Azazel, uh, the Watcher. You know, that's just one one place. And also, there's supposedly some under a river and then also some imprisoned in uh the deserts under jagged rocks like if you look like the mayans would go underground in these caves with these stalactites and slagmites and it's a place described biblically where a place where fallen angels would dwell and uh these people had these uh these uh hierarchies of these beings like uh, kind of like uh, Zeus and Mercury and uh, Apollo, and uh, you know Apollo and Abaddon is the same guy, Apollyanos or something like that. Uh, uh, yeah, Apollo and and uh, Abaddon are the same guy, basically. Strangely enough, but you can see like composite mythologies that are similar, like you know, freaking over here in South America as well over there in you know Greece and China and other places like that look at this thing in India you got these little pantheons of these kind of trickster beings with that masquerade is like two different beings are they they're like very contradictory like the destroyer actually comes to bring the life like you know there's these compact plex kind of dichotomies you know what I'm saying it's because they're little G gods, which are really no gods at all, but 
You know what I'm saying? It's like their people worship demons. It's in Jubilees, that, you know, worship demons, pray to demons, sacrifice to demons. So whenever you got these diverse creatures, entities, names of things uh, that all demand their own kind of little blood sacrifice, sex sacrifice, crop sacrifice, animal sacrifice, they're imposters. Like, look at this right here. This freaking looks like a bowl. Oh, look, see? Here come some birds. Look, right on time. Every day in the magic window, the birds come flying by. It's like the birds are on the move when the plasma comes out. Like, look, there's a chemtrail right there being freshly sprayed down. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of these guys right here. And there's some, there's some crazy stuff going on behind these houses, but I can't see it. You see that big, like, blot out right there? Like, there's like a shadow snake going like this, and you can see it behind here, too. Make it almost like a green portal-looking thing. But, yeah, this is very freaking uniform-looking right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fucking it's insane every day. It's crazy and crazy. More freak with a higher frequency. Oh look, right here, you got a freaking shadow cam coming in through the back. See that glare there. See, what's weird, it's uh, right here, it's light or it's white where there's an absence of the kind of glare. But down within the glare, the stretcher scan trail is black. It's almost can't even see it in this camera oddly very odd how that blends in so well uh, but you can also see one yeah you can see one shooting through here but yeah man they're good I mean some of these things aren't really totally freaking visible you know it's like it helps kind of having the camera to identify some of these things or the naked eye to identify the things that the camera cannot really weird yeah man that is a really odd looking cloud right there especially on this edge over here it's all like like back here behind here it's like really red like a red freaking pinkish freaking line oh and you can see this kind of like ridge ridge going on the top of this giant cloud cover right here and you got the plasma shooting on down like it's almost like a stair. Like stairs. Let's see it. See it? Like an escalator going up into the clouds. Freaking crazy. Yeah, but you can definitely see the freaking the reddish pinkish glare. Yeah, and it also almost looks like a this thing right here almost looks like a face too. freaking odd oh man yeah it's really blasting right here this pink this pink plasma yeah man that wow back here really blasting I wish I was on the other side of them houses there or on the roof up here that'd give me a good freaking uh real good look at this uh surrounding area here we're kind of like this building's built on a hill and there's like two stories so bet you that's the ticket up there yeah look at that bowl yeah yeah man a lot of anomalies kicking out right now you can see like look right now i can see Ooh, there's a cam that goes here and it curves down because there's a curve in there but there's one coming here one coming there there's about one, two, three, four. Four chems just often, they're all flying right directly into this pink plasma. Uh, with this dark shadowy portal in the center that looks like a disc. Uh, I mean over down here too, I can't really see it, but you got these purple, long purple clouds that almost look like a freaking octopus. Let's see. 
Oh yeah, see, let's see. That tree's in the way, but you can see with clouds kicking up at it almost in the shape